Welcome to the Insight Graphics 2020.6 Release Spotlight. Since we unveiled the Turing architecture in 2018, NVIDIA has created an ecosystem that empowers developers to utilize real-time ray tracing in your applications. With the new NVIDIA Ampere architecture and RTX 30 series GPUs, 60 FPS 4K ray trace graphics is a reality. In this release, we're introducing support for the new Kronos Vulkan ray tracing extensions that have been fully ratified. You'll be able to capture an application frame and navigate to ray tracing events, inspect shaders, and examine pipeline and render states. Visualize your acceleration structures to derive the optimal geometry for your scene. If you trace, the range profiler, the shader profiler, and Inside Aftermath are all fully capable of supporting these new extensions. Batching as many primitives per draw call as possible is key to keeping the GPU active and achieving peak performance. We've reintroduced the batch histogram feature in the main UI, and now it's even better. You can see at a glance draw calls grouped by batch size, indicating how well the scene has been ready for submission to the GPU for minimal state switching and optimal throughput. You can also use the UI to enable or disable display of the geometry for visual feedback on where the draw calls in the selected group are placed in the scene. We've extended the Shader Profiler to work on Linux with Vulkan support. The Shader Profiler has been providing developers like you unprecedented insight into how your shaders execute on the GPU. Latency due to instruction issue stalls can come from a thread waiting on a texture read to finish, a global memory read or write, or even a previous instruction that takes multiple cycles to complete. The Shader Profiler pinpoints the location of those stall hotspots, correlates them to your code, and provides the information you need to reduce latency and achieve maximum efficiency on the GPU. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA Developer Channel.